Hello everyone, Christopher Barrelet here with the Barrelet Collection at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. I'm here with another great new construction opportunity in sunny Tampa, Florida. Today, May 26th, we are in booming Apollo Beach at Waterset. The Apollo Beach, Ruskin, and Sun City areas are spaced out now, however, they are up and coming. We're located uh, just up on the southern, eastern, or southeastern edges of Tampa. Uh, various builders are here, and residents are going to see some continued growth throughout the upcoming year. If you're looking for a place to save money when you buy and make a good amount when you sell, this is definitely it. Make sure to get connected with me to stay up to date with my uh, up upcoming soon series. Uh, now, Waterset is a large 4,000 site uh, master plan community. It's right at the heart of Apollo Beach. It is about halfway done or so, so there's still plenty of great opportunity to get in here. They have many amenities throughout the neighborhood, like a resort style pool, splash area, playgrounds, dog park, a 32 acre lake, fitness center, and more. Truly the list goes on, so I'll be sure to put it in the description for you. There are multiple schools, K through eight, Montessori and Charter as well as a future plan school that is still to come, uh, all inside the Waterset neighborhood. Uh, the HOA is $89 for the year. However, there is a CDD that is assessed with your taxes. Now it's dependent on your lot size and uh, where you build or who you build with, so we can always look at that individually. Behind me is the Seville, built by Park Square Homes. They are a moderate price builder with uh, luxury touches and upgrades that are available. What I love about Park Square most are their unconventional designs. They keep it simple and the classic as far as the style, but will surprise you with the layout. Uh, the Seville is available both one and two story, three to four bedroom, two to three bath, two car garage, and just under 2,400 square feet at the biggest configuration. It has great options for a bonus room and flex, so they use the space really well, I think, throughout. Currently, the starting price at the time of filming is $331,990, and that's before your lot, structural, or any uh, design studio changes. Now, the water set is just minutes from I-75 and right off US-41. US Less than a couple of miles west, you're gonna find the shores of Apollo Beach. So let's pop on into the Seville, and let's see what you think of layout. Now, upon walking up, I really do enjoy the Seville and its curb appeal. As I mentioned before, they do a great job of giving you a classic style, uh, but then giving you a little bit more when it comes to the layout. Although the lots in here that Park Square is building are 40 feet, um, so these plans are a little bit slender, but they've done a great job of doing uh, the layout and, sh and using the space well. Uh, so coming on up, I really do like the the front porch here, and that particularly where you see the office doors is going to be like your garage. Now they do include your pavers out front as well as on your back patio as well, and as you can see, some really nice stone options that you can choose as far as your particular elevations. So I really like that. Let's pop on in now and take a look at the interior. All right, okay. Yeah, so I really enjoy this front area. Uh, when you walk in here, it just has like kind of a grand look. So again, if you choose the option that's gonna have the bonus area and rooms, then that's gonna give the second floor for you and you'll have this kind of open air space and giving you an idea of some of the things that you can do for it, which are really, really nice. Uh, so typically, as you see, you've got your nice open wall here that's gonna be perfect for any kind of furniture or art piece or something that you might wanna put there. Uh, and again, I can't wait to get upstairs and show you what it has that, but Let's stay on the bottom floor and go through the layout here. So nice walkway all the way through here, kind of like the way that it shifts, so that's nice. Um, to the left here, you'll probably notice there's a bit of a front closet. Uh, so a little bit of a closet kind of understeer storage that you have there for you as well. 
And then first thing that we're gonna encounter to our left here is your office kind of flex room. Uh, so great space overall. This one has the option that if you wanna turn it into a bedroom and kind of close off the door, then you have that option there as well. Uh, closet here. Uh, double door that open doesn't open but uh, looks, sure looks like a good size for you uh, there and the room overall I think is a good size so perfect for if you want to have that office or flex space down here and then out on into the kitchen which is a nice again open plan it's kind of slender and long down that way but I like the way that it's done uh, so each area has its own particular great great amount of space, kitchen as well. Uh, so let's pop in and take a look here. GE stainless steel appliances available. Cabinetry to give you an idea and showing you some of what you can do. Again, they're going to have great options that are available in the design studio that you can change up to if you want to get to upper level. They have a good standard, but you definitely probably might want some of the upper level touches. The uh, cabinets, countertops, quartz countertops are available. So you have those as well as the granite. I love the island size. It's definitely a great one as far as being able to entertain and its function. Good cabinets all throughout. And then you got your sink uh, and your dishwasher on it as well. And looks like as far as entertaining, my favorite part of it, um, you can definitely seat maybe even four or five in here. This is nice and wide, the way it curves around, curves long. So this is a great size. Um, again, if you just want to do three, you can kind of see how they do it here, which is a great setup. Uh, so just off of there is your laundry room. So you have that kind of space here. Now that's into the garage and that's again being used as the office by the builder now. So just more of a laundry nook space, I would say here. You do have room for the cabinetry and I think because of its close proximity to the kitchen, uh, you can add in some matching cabinets that would just do great uh, for, for uh, giving a little bit of look to the space here. Um, and then we've got a closet as well so for some added storage. You have that right off the side as well. Uh, so you don't have a, a specific pantry, I guess, or is that qualify as your pantry? This probably qualifies as your pantry for you as, uh, as well. So um, if you're gonna have a little bit of room there, but it looks like it's mostly going to be your cabinetry from your kitchen uh, that'll, that'll give that space. So moving on, you've got your dining area kind of right off in the middle. That's something that you might typically find in a lot of layouts like this. Uh, so just keep giving each area their own particular space. I like what they did here as far as the round table. I do think that you might be able to get a slender table across uh, depending. Yeah, I would say definitely with that size, you can have something that's more a rectangular table. If you'd like, uh, probably seat six, I think would do well in this space. And you have uh, your gathering room which again is a good size. Now off of that, you have the patio that's back there and you have the primary bedroom as well. Overall, this is a great size, I think, for any particular amount of furniture that you'd wanna put in here. And you can have a good amount of space to section off that the family room is, you know, gather room is its space and then the you know, nook and kitchen and everything are their own. Uh, so let's see, we'll pop back into this hallway here before we get on to the patio and primary bed so it looks like we've got another uh, we got your AC unit here so this is your AC closet whenever needing to maintenance or do any fixing for that that's gonna be right there for you all right then on into a bedroom that we have downstairs here so this is probably more typical size of course we'll be sure to have those dimensions for you but a more typical size bedroom with a two-door closet those are nice and tall as well and I don't know if you have noticed um, but they do have very nice tall doorways and I know that that's actually an option that Park Square does make available is able to get those larger kind of eight-foot doorways so you have another um, hall closet you have a hall closet here this will then be probably for your linens uh, so you have that AC in there and the linens here and then you've got a good guest bathroom uh, great size beautiful tile work and uh, you know just got everything that you need for a good guest bath uh, for those when they're here and they're painting so on into pass through again the great size gathering room on out to your covered lanai so with this space that you have here 
Um, you also, again, will get the pavers as well. Now, it'll end right at the edge of the covered space right here. They have just a little bit extended for this model, but particularly where it will end is right here. And you will have the pavers that are available and out here for your carpet lanai as well. So this is your outside space. Of course, getting that screened in will be a must for Florida here, uh, but it'll do a great job as far as having somewhere to stand, stay out uh, side and again enough room for pretty much about a table I think uh, would be good or just you know kind of one piece uh, furniture particularly here uh, in the space but depending on what you know you can do you can fit with it all right let's pop back on in and check out our primary bedroom all right okay. I think it's a good size overall not as big as some of ones that we have seen in the past now the seat, so not added for the seating area, you kind of look like you see here, you have the bed and for both the tables on the side there, good window, but it's a good size, definitely will fit a king, something of that size. The closet is good, I think as well. Uh, it's got long and depending on how much you have and how much you need, this should do well um, for two, but absolutely perfect for one. Now on into the bath, again, giving you an idea of the cabinetry and hardware that's available, the countertops uh, that's available. So this is a little bit uh, up from the granite if you're going for those higher level countertops. Have a nice standing shower. It's a great size and bath as well. So overall, I am really a fan of this bathroom it's kind of nice and open good spacing between the sinks so a very very nice look overall all right so let's head on back now we can head upstairs and take a look at what the seville has got going on up there i think the bonus area is going to be great having the added bedroom is going to be very very nice uh, now make sure that you say subscribe with us hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos uh, we definitely want to make sure that we're keeping you up to date on all that's coming with new construction and real estate in central florida all right so nice grand stairs i do love uh, the railings there very nice look into a nice loft area so this has got a good size definitely something like I like and I like as you can see here it's got great room as far as like something of an entertainment area and then something of recreation if you want to have like a card table or something like that you got enough room for that here and this bench actually shows you a good idea of what you can do possibly just right here um, a little bit of a walkway, so I, I think something like this decoration piece or this furniture piece is about what you can do without blocking the area. So very, very nice setup. And then they've got the bathroom here as available as for the guests. So no shower, but your typical kind of guest bathroom. And you've got a closet right here so that you can have some added uh, storage as well. So it's double doors. So it's a good size closet. Very good. All right, my friends, that was the Seville by Park Square. I really hope that you enjoyed this home. Uh, I definitely did, especially that front entrance, kind of walking in the grand open area. I really, really like that and gives it a phenomenal touch to this home. Uh, so if you're interested in this home or any other home in the Central Florida area and of course surrounding Tampa, Melbourne, we're going to be expanding that out. Please make sure to give us a call at 407-325-4904. You can search homes uh, directly at www.jointhecollection.com. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, I invite you to join the collection.